Chicken Little is in this movie. I'm deadly serious, guys. Avoid this film at all costs. But no, guys, in all seriousness, I decided to watch the new Disney film Wish at my local cinema. I live in the north of England for university, so I decided to buy a subscription at my local cinema called The Light. They are a small chain in the country. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I mean, you could probably blame the light itself for me becoming so jaded and depressed at watching movies. This is because the overwhelming majority of new films are not good. Yeah, we'll get back to that. I bought the subscription which costs about 12 quid a month, which is about $15, and you get to see as many films as you want with no extra cost. It's great, and I definitely got my money's worth. It made me realise though, most of the cinema subscriptions in the US are shit. Most have it where you still have to pay to get maybe a few movies a month. Let me know if I'm wrong guys. And American viewers, let me know what you guys do. I guess we just have it lucky. Anyway, I brought my notebook to write notes of course. And I arrived at the light. And I saw this wish poster as I was on my way to the screening. And I thought to myself, I wish I was doing literally anything else with my day. Luckily the screening was at 8pm. Most animated films there are only on at the crack of dawn, and because my sleep schedule is so bad, I'm never awake until midday anyway, so luckily, I could actually watch this one this time. Oh migration, Illumination may be the best animated studio of all time, so I can't wait for that one. After a few minutes, I find the screening, and it's massive, and guess how many other people there were? Five. Five other people for one of the main Disney films this year. I luckily got there just in time, as the Disney logo popped up as I sat down. So, after an hour and a half of quote unquote entertainment, what did I think? Yeah, it's pretty bland guys. I mean a 200 million dollar budget on this thing is ridiculous. But maybe they just shot themselves in the foot by making everything available on Disney Plus at a later date. I mean this is one of the most uninspired Disney films I've seen in a long time. When I tell you that absolutely nothing sticks out, I really mean it. It's one of those films that you forget the day after watching it. And for Disney to hype up this film, with being connected with the Disney 100 year anniversary is just wild man. Is this really the film that you guys want to show off your 100 year achievement? And let's just address the elephant in the room. Yeah, the animation looks well unfinished. Do you guys remember watching the DVD extras? And they would show you the process of the animation before the final product. Yeah, this is what Wish looks like. And apparently they were trying to blend 2D and 3D animation. But I don't know, Disney. It just seems like you want to have your cake and eat it too. The film was originally going to be 2D animated. Why didn't you just stick to that, Disney? I mean, yeah, there'll be spoilers now. So click off if you care about them. But trust me, you're not missing much. So the story is about as cookie cutter as it gets for animated films. I could see them trying to do something else with this one, but it just doesn't work. The main protagonist is okay, and the actress Ariana DeBose does a fine job to be honest. She was one of the best parts of the movie, and even then she was just serviceable. I think the movie really fails with the villain. Like fucking how the film was ruined by how poorly written he was. The trailers portrayed him as a potentially more complex person, but what you see in the trailers is literally what you get in the movie. I thought that his reasoning for not granting all the wishes actually made sense, and it could have made for an interesting character. But no, the movie just makes his motivations purely power related, and this is where I really switch off from the film. Like, come on Disney, I thought at least they were going to try and connect one of the other side characters directly to the main conflict, but no. It's just him and it's so incredibly one note. I could not quite believe that Disney went down such a tired formula for the whole movie. I also think the villain fails because I do like Chris Pine, but I'm sorry, he is so forgettable in this movie. It may be because of the content itself, and it speaks volumes when I've already forgotten his song. And yes, yeah, speaking of tired formulas, you also have the Talking Donkey ripoff, which is now a goat with a deep voice. Yeah, haha, ha, funny. The comic relief in this film did not make me laugh once. Not even once. I would have said I predicted that he was going to speak in this movie, because they literally say to him at the start, I wonder if we could understand you. But the trailer spoils that wacky twist anyway. So the trailer spoils the film, 
and shows just how shallow the whole experience is. I guarantee that you won't like this movie if you didn't like the trailer. And I know that a lot of people didn't. And I mean yeah, the music in general is just dire. I'm not the best person to fully dissect soundtracks, but I know a good one when I hear it. And to be fair, the average moviegoer can as well, and I understand if you disagree. But even if you don't like Encanto like I do, at least there are some catchy songs on there. What does this film have? I genuinely can't remember one. I mean the songs on YouTube have a lot of dislikes too. And to be honest, after listening to them again, if they were part of a better more memorable movie, I don't think that people would have complained as much. I don't get this making a wish business anyway. Why wouldn't the 100 year grandpa, by the way I see what you did there Disney, just make his wish a reality anyway? What's stopping anyone from just doing their wishes? Like what am I missing here guys? And also the humour is very flat for its entire runtime. It's just the quirky princess again, with extremely forgettable weird side characters. And it's mainly just Marvel humour for the whole thing. And it weirdly feels like Meet the Robinsons humour at points. And I think it's because the film is just tonally all over the place. There's also a fart joke in this guys. I'm sure Walt Disney would have loved that one. But yeah, the side characters are just How to Train Your Dragon rejects. And they just all sound a bit off. And their character traits are underdeveloped. And this results in them being ridiculously uninspired. I like how they try to make the joke at the end of Never Trust a Handsome Face. You know, in a Disney film. A Disney princess film. Like has there ever been a conventionally ugly Disney princess? No, there hasn't. So what's the second best idea? Just make all of her friends look fucking weird instead. The little one in this group just pisses me off so much for no reason. I think it's just the tone in his voice. It just makes me really angry. And is it just me? Or does this guy look like two people from Encanto in one? The film also references some other Disney films, like Mary Poppins and Peter Pan. And apart from reminding me of the member berries from South Park, it just made me wish that I was watching these movies instead. And yeah, it seems like they just saved the day by singing. It's not even that stupid of an idea, but the fact that it's connected to something so boring makes it so idiotic. When the film actually ends, you have references in the form of little pictures of iconic Disney characters. My favourite part was when they showed Chicken Little. Like they were really proud of that one. Well I have to give it to you Disney, you do have balls of steel. There's also Bolt in this movie which is crazy as fuck. And my personal favourite was seeing Yzma, because I really like the Emperor's new groove. But yeah anyway, this is just more nostalgia bait. And if the film wasn't trying to copy Marvel anymore, they have an after credits scene too, and minor spoilers guys, it's more nostalgia bait. And yeah, that was my experience of watching Wish. It's not really a good film to be honest. Sorry Disney, maybe next time. It's not terrible though, it's just extremely by the numbers, and a very safe animated film. And it's just underwhelming. Practically everything in this movie has been done before, but way better. I don't have any faith in future Disney projects to be honest. And that's not specific to animated films. It just seems like anything that company picks up eventually ends up being a shell of its former self. It's just sad to see to be honest. Is Wish first class junk? No, not really. I have seen way, way, way worse. And you guys know that. Which is kind of sad to admit. But it is still junk at the end of the day. I would heavily recommend to skip this one to be honest. I mean everyone is hyped for Inside Out 2 aren't they? Just wait for that one if you're wanting to see an animated film in the cinemas. Thanks for watching guys. It's junk. <laughs>